think racing needs to go, or motorsports needs to go, and MotoGP specifically, in regards to technology and its development? Well, um, I believe that uh, historically motorsport was always uh, providing, you know, right platform is the right platform to develop technologies, you know, for the for all manufacturers and involved with manufacturers. And uh, I believe that uh, the future must be, let's say, focused in uh, developing technologies for, let's say, keeping in mind the social responsibilities, you know, which are, for example, human safety and uh, environment. I believe that uh, this will be the main focus for the future, you know. If you look, for example, uh, Formula One, what he's doing right now is uh, developing, you know, new technology rules where the engine capacity is going down, is, uh, it will be very, very limited because, uh, you know, the, all the automotive industries nowadays wish to have an uh, engine with uh, more efficiency and uh, possibly the engines, you know, uh, combine it combustion engines combined with uh, electrical engines, with, for example, gas technologies. And I believe that uh, in, in the long future, in, in the future, we, even in MotoGP, we will see maybe, you know, the manufacturers that will be more interested in developing high-efficiency engines, maybe with a small capacity and uh, maybe turbocharged, maybe with some electrical devices. This is just my opinion. So, Stefan, what it, what is it, how does that sound to you? A, a turbo, internal combustion motor with electric, <laughs> no, electric turbo boost? I think you can just a good wheelies. <laughs> I have no idea about that. <laughs> it feels great to have 250 horsepower. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, I, need to, I need to handle it. That's my job. Okay, so more power is always a good thing. So thank you for your Q&A questions. We've already seen some themes.